Welcome to Vibe Cafe. This is a show where we have spontaneous, controversial and sometimes sensitive conversations as well as give you positive vibes and maximum entertainment. My name is Larry Nicodemus and as always with me is the okay. beautiful Oge. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have a whole lot planned out for us on today's show. Yes, I'm so do. happy to be here. You look oh, extremely beautiful. Thank you. You look amazing as well. Thank loving you, the hair, loving thank the bob, you. giving me slick vibes. Thank yeah. you. And yeah, like you said, I'm super excited about today's show. We've yeah. got so much planned out for you. We're talking about something very, very important, something common that is disturbing lots of us, especially as Nigerians, but we are not you know, taken care of enough. If you want to find out what that is, please stick around. We'll come back after the break, introduce our guests and dive into the topic of the day. We also got the movie review and games we'll be playing, so you do not want to miss out on any of it. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Vibe Cafe. If you're just joining us today on the show, we're talking about malaria, um, a common sickness that is killing lots of people, but some of us don't take it serious enough and we're having that conversation right here in the studio. Joining us today is a public health expert, none other than Rhoda Robinson. She is the founder and executive director of Hazy Health Initiative, which is an organization or a development organization that helps empower the underserved, especially women and children. She's also an advocate for women and girl <laughs> rights. <laughs> Welcome so much, my Welcome. Sister. Thank you. Thank you. To have you I'm here. always very excited to have you <laughs> in the studio because it gives me vibes, like the name of the show, Vibes Cafe. You're vibes. bringing the vibes and I love <laughs> exactly. it. Um, but like I said, today we're talking yeah. about a very serious you know, topic. Mm -hmm. That is malaria. Um, it, it's killing people, exactly. especially in Africa, but we tend to overlook it. It's one of those things where it's like now a part of life. Everybody yes. just, you know, let's just Live roll. Live yeah, everybody it. lives and with malaria. Yeah, I just want you to talk on that. How okay. serious is malaria? Okay, so everybody, like when you say malaria, nobody is a stranger. Mm. Like, basically, almost every, there's a saying we have that everybody in Nigeria is infected with malaria. Mm. But basic, um, in Nigeria accounts for more than 30% of um, child deaths related to malaria in the world. Wow. So that's how serious it is. Um, so when you're look, looking at malaria as a global health burden, um, Sub-Saharan Africa itself accounts for 95% of malaria cases. That's our fact file, right? And there. Nigeria is like leading. It's Nigeria. always leading. Yes, always. unfortunately. But, uh, but we, we've, we've been working hard at reducing that. So far, but we still need to do a lot of things because um, malaria is the third leading cause of death in children under five. Wow. Yeah, and so it, it's a serious problem that a lot of people, just because it is so rampant and so common, a lot of people don't take notice of it and until it gets too late and it becomes a serious life-threatening disease. And so um, malaria is, is uh, a fever, basically. It's one of the fever disease um, illnesses that we have that affects us and is transmitted, as you know, by mosquitoes, mm. the Anopheles mosquito. And it's, it's, uh, uh, it's transferred, it's a parasite, basically, the falciparum um, parasite that is transferred by the malaria and through, from an infected person to an uninfected person. So almost everybody has, at least at malaria. one point, yeah. But the problem is that when you have malaria, what do you do when mm. you have? A lot of people just assume that every kind of fever it's malaria. It's malaria. As long as you're, you're running a temperature, temperature, you have a headache, you feel chills and all that, they think it's malaria. And most of the time, it's not. So one of the main things about malaria is that you need to get tested first. Okay. Ensure that it is malaria, and then you start treatment immediately. Mm -hmm. Because if you do not treat malaria, if you think, okay, you'll just ride it out with rest, because that's almost everybody's solution is drink a lot of water and rest, mm -hmm. and you'll get over it. No. If it gets to a critical stage, you could lose your life because it is that serious. It, you could lose your life. And it is especially serious in children under five and in pregnant women who mm. are at higher risk of the negative, like the more serious outcomes of malaria. You just said right now that Nigeria is mostly yeah. affected by this. So do you want to expand why you think this is and to a large extent how it can be caught? So, so malaria is more endemic 
in sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. And Nigeria has, as I said before, one of the leading populations when it comes to um, malaria deaths and cases of malaria. And this is because of one, our climate, and behavior and other factors, both human and environmental. And one of the major things that we also have is that a lot, as we said, a lot of people don't take malaria seriously mm. until it becomes too late, until you are admitted and they, you have to go through serious treatment. When if you had either prevented it through vector control, and when I say vector control, I mean um, killing the um, carriers of malaria, yeah, mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Either you use um, insecticide or you use uh, mosquito nets, you sleep on the mosquito nets, treated mosquito nets, or you use preventive medication, preventive drugs, um, chemoprophylaxis. It's called chemoprophylaxis. So there are drugs that you can take to prevent you from getting malaria. Oh, really? Yes, there is. A lot of people do not know this. I did not know that. So there I are, didn't know either. So there are drugs that you can actually take during the, uh, the periods where malaria is most um, frequently got that that's season? the raining period okay. because of the stagnant water that we yeah. have and they breed more during the season. So if you take those drugs regularly, it prevents you from actually getting wow. malaria. So you don't have to waste money Wait on treating ma get, malaria. Wow. And then if you now do end up getting malaria or you think you have malaria, you have chills, you have fever, you are urinating temperature and things like that, first and foremost, get your test done. Do your test, ensure it is malaria, and then immediately get on treatment and finish your treatment. A lot of people do not finish their treatments because you will see someone will start a treatment and then will go, oh, I feel better after two days. Because be. And you are supposed to finish that drug because then you are more, um, you, you, are, you tend to relapse more when you do not finish your meals. And then it gets harder to treat you because you might build a resistance to that first treatment at the end of the day. So it is very, very important. And it's, it's a practice that a lot of people just, you find it everywhere now. People just say, oh, I have malaria, I'll take um, Panadol and we'll go and sleep and drink water and then that's it. Because your body has already built some immunity mm. to malaria, you think it's okay. Whereas you're building more and more immunity to the medications. Yes. That yes. Would, exactly. So that's why it is very, very important that when you do suspect you have malaria, get tested get treated and finish your medication so you've talked about the preventive mm. measures that we can take to control malaria and not even catch it mm. and i can attest to this growing up we were taught in social studies school uh, mm -hmm. you know classes we were taught pretty much how to use mosquito nets you know how to get rid of stagnant water and all of those things and people were doing these things yeah but over the years now it's rare to see people even have mosquito nets in yes, their yes, houses yes. so it's seeming like it's no longer a problem yes. why is that the case so, so that's, that's the main thing a lot of people have forgotten that mm. it is still a serious problem most people do not care enough to use mosquito nets and can and feel that they can just take medications and then it's all better oh and a lot of times we have communities where the population is more than the available nets right you understand so a lot of people may not be able to afford those mosquito nets so that's why we need more awareness more investment into preventive measures, into okay. um, buying mosquito nets and mm -hmm. giving out and using mosquito nets. As well. Some people do not know how to use mosquito nets True. properly. Some people will tell you that, oh, it's too hot under it exactly. and they, they store it. I've, I've been to families during my work in Haiti. I've been to families where they had two mosquito nets and nobody was using it because they didn't understand the importance of it or why it should, why people should use mosquito nets. And then th that would bring me back to this fact that if you are a pregnant woman, if you have children living under five, it is extremely important that you prevent malaria because those are the high risk um, population, yeah. your, your population, and that people who have like underlying conditions whose immunity is already low right. and they are more susceptible to malaria. People like that should, as much as possible, sleep under long-lasting insecticide treated nets because that's the only way that they can at least contribute to preventing malaria and that's why when you go to some um, health facilities when um, you're doing your ANC they give you a mosquito net and they put you on what we call intermittent preventive therapy that, what does that mean? it means um, it's a it's a drug 
okay. that they gave to pregnant women to prevent them from getting malaria. malaria. Oh. Because when they do get malaria, um, they run the risk of having um, miscarriages, um, anemia. If they um, carry their children to term, some don't carry their children to term and you have um, um, premature babies and babies with low birth weight. So it not only affects the mother, it affects the baby as well. And then you now have, when it comes to the babies that they give birth to, if they get malaria, their immune system has not been developed to um, counter the parasites in the bloodstream. So it affects them more, and it's, there's more likelihood that they might lose their lives to malaria at the end of the day. So it is very, very important to reinforce that message that mm -hmm. people are still dying from malaria. malaria. Only when you practice the knowledge of prevention treatment that you are able to fully prevent and eliminate malaria in our society. Otherwise, as long as you have one person carrying the parasites and there are mosquitoes, it's going to get transmitted to someone else who is not protected. Mm -hmm. And so it is our responsibility to ensure that we are protecting someone else mm -hmm. from getting malaria. Oh, that's beautiful. So this very last point of yours, yeah. what it's trying to say is that malaria is transmittable? Because yes. So what um, the vector that carries malaria is mosquito. Of course. So once there's mosquito, Anopheles mosquito, once there's... And then we, we can't really tell the difference. They're like so tiny. Yeah. So you don't... So once there's a mos Once you have an environment that supports the breeding of mosquitoes, you need to ensure that if you cannot ensure that you clean up all stagnant water because mosquitoes breed in... Um, stagnant water. water. They need your blood to be able to breed. Ah. So if they've taken your blood and there's stagnant water, they'll reproduce. Mm. And then you now have more mosquitoes who are carrying, um, who, who would carry the parasite and spread it around. So if you are not sleeping under a mosquito net and you have the parasite in your blood system and um, you are not using insecticide to kill mosquitoes in your homes, the chance of mosquito um, biting you, taking your infected blood to another person, person is very high, especially when that person as well is not being protected. All right. Wow. Um, I also want us to talk about self-medication. Yeah. You've touched on this a little bit. When yeah. it comes to malaria, it's everybody is self-medicating and you've already talked about the dangers of that, you yeah. know, uh, the, your system having resistance to this medication, mm -hmm. but people still do it. Why is that the case and how can we really stop the habit? Yeah, I, I think one of the things that we also need to understand is that it's not um, malaria medic malaria treatment drugs can be bought over the counter. Okay. That's just to make it easier for people to be able to treat themselves. Right. But it becomes ineffective if you are not if you do not have malaria in the first place. Right. Mm. So you are just taking drugs, but that's not what is wrong with you. So you need to ensure that you need to make sure that you have malaria before you go buy your drugs, okay. your malaria drugs. And they are, they are affordable. They are different types and they are affordable. There are some that um, you can get free of charge at a health facility, some you buy over the counter at a pharmacy, a registered pharmacy, because you, you, you can't be too careful when it comes to in, um, taking drugs. So ensure you buy a registered pharmacy and then finish your medication, finish that dosage. Dose dose ensure you finish it. You need to finish to ensure that the entire system is, is the entire um, parasite is out of, your, of system. your system. Unless if you just stop midway and you feel better and it's still there, they reproduce. They just keep on reproducing. And it's in your red blood cells. They are infecting your red blood cells. And you need to, you have red blood cells. You can't say because um, you've cured malaria, your red blood cells, all your red blood cells are clean. No. So you need to ensure that you finish your dosage and once it's entirely out of your system then you and you make sure that you prevent it properly sleep on the nets you understand and then if you are feeling like you have a fever again go to the hospital before yeah before starting any, any treatment whatsoever go to the hospital do the required test i have felt sick a lot of times and mm -hmm. i've gone to the hospital and i've tested negative for malaria Right. repeatedly everybody would normally say oh you have a fever you're feeling dizzy yeah. take malaria, malaria drug. drug i've not tested positive for malaria in like three years wow. i have not tested positive to stress i just asked well a lot of people are under stress they think it's malaria mm. your body is trying to tell you that it needs to rest you think it's malaria, malaria. you start taking malaria drugs when you do have malaria 
and you take those drugs, it will not work. It might not work out anymore. Wow, true. I've learned a lot, That's and I'm so sure insightful. you have as well. We're running out of time. We'll go yeah. on a quick break, and we'll be right back to play uh, the game. We also got a movie review as well, so don't go anywhere. This is Vibe Cafe. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Vibe Cafe. This is the part of the show where we get to review a movie. And today we are reviewing The Therapist. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> amazing film. You know what? I'm just going to let you start first. Okay, yeah. Thank you for that. I really love to start. Well, I so much love this movie, watching it. Well, the entire story started with the character Rita Dominic, which, of course, I really love she goes to dinner with her husband like happily she's happy and it's their anniversary you know getting to the dinner she finds out that this guy is not into me and this is a marriage of about 11 years 11 years and he just pours out everything calls her names like i've been with you for 11 years and this 11 years has been the worst years of my do you do you understand how how do you how do you begin to feel when somebody you come for a dinner and you're expecting to just marry out with your husband and you know have nice time and probably you know go back and do things so she comes in and hears all of these things and she just storms out and i love how this story takes us from this place to an entirely completely different story that is right. where she becomes where she begins to agitate for other women going through this you know personally i felt that you know, after going through these things, she would just go to her lawyer friend. Yeah, that brings me to the friendship she had. I'll come back to that. I expected that she would go back to her lawyer friend, then begin to fight, begin to tell her about what, of course, coming from the dinner. And I want to sue my husband. I want to get all of this thing. And, you know, considering the whole circumstances surrounding her, the divorce she had and all of that, the prenup thing, and... It was just a lot. I feel the movie the movie was just a whole lot. It had the story was deep and the fact that the the director, the producer dived into it and it was just at every point a whole lot of unveiling. We're we're getting a whole lot of different depth into it. And I also love the the Toy's part. That was a bit comic the whole comic thing about Toy. The character she brought into the whole mm. story i think that was the comic relief of the whole story it's a serious romantic yeah i would of course call it a romantic movie it's a serious one that had a bit of comedy and all of that i enjoyed it i enjoyed so many things i enjoyed the picture i enjoyed the makeup i enjoyed of course the costume i don't know it's a story you would want to it's a movie you would want to watch I'm, I'm sure you love it i, I did I, loved, I did like in a long while i haven't enjoyed a nigerian film the way i enjoy this one usually when i watch movies i'm very particular about the you know technical part of things like the okay. cinematography you know the angle you know the makeup the lighting the story usually in nigerian films the story is always good it's the delivery and execution that kills those films exactly. but this one i had literally nothing to complain about the color grading was good the makeup the stylist like you said of the course. dialogue was tight it was, it was good it, it was, was realistic I it was amazing it. the casting was good it had so many a-listers rita dominic played it, a lead um, character yeah. michelle dede who she played a friend the lawyer she did mock it like it was just amazing and everybody brought love. their a-game so the it. performance was great i like honestly i, I have nothing it. to Secret. complain but about though, this you film. know i was gonna ask you know they had this prenup thing what do you think i for one i don't think Nigerians are really into all those freedom. Do you yeah. really think? No, there are people who who do that. Um, you know, but the moral of this story is when you're signing anything, read it. Get open a lawyer, your eyes. You know, get a lawyer to go through it. You know, before you sign any documents. You because know, because it was a lot for because, her. Because yeah, she ended up with nothing, nothing. because of the print up and all of that. But overall, I would say it was a great film. I On a scale it. of one to ten, what it. would you rate I'll the film? I'll give it a solid nine because I want to hold on to my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because we are, we are selfish like that yeah i would give, I'll it, give a, it a solid i'll nine. give it a nine point something yeah. nine point one or something it was a good it film was, like there was, was literally nothing 
I, I could complain about exactly. and that is really rare. Okay? Exactly. Because I'm an educated You're viewer. You're always complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I am. But they I delivered and I absolutely loved it. Totally I check did. it out for yourself. You may love it just as much as we, we did, did right here on the show. And let us know your thoughts on social media at Vibe Cafe Show. That brings us to the end of the show. Thank you so much uh, for hanging out with us. Do follow us on social media platforms at Vibe Cafe Show. Follow me at Larry Nick and Fab Malin. All righty. Until next time, do have an amazing time. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to Vibe Cafe. This is when we get to play a game. And today, for the first time ever, <laughs> our guest is playing the game with us. This game is called Song Association. So we basically have words written on cards. We'll take turns to, you know, share the words. And then the person whose turn it is to sing will sing a song with that word in it. Tell us the name of the artist and the name of the song. Is that simple? Really long. Is that simple? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. okay. Do me well. All right. So this is, I have mind. Mind? Yeah, mind. Like. Girl, you just the blow my, blow my mind, blow my mind. That is David O and Chris Brown blow my mind. Okay. Boom. Wow, that was very cool. Yes. That was cool. Yes. Okay. I am so Your work is this. heal. <laughs> heal. Heal. Yes, you're talking about malaria. Heal. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> what song has <laughs> been on Um... Heal me, oh Lord. Wait, what? Uh, you said song. Uh, okay. okay. By who, though? By who? Who sang that song? Okay. Oh, All right. I think I have no idea. That's a half point. Ah! There is a half point. Okay. okay, your turn. Heal the world. Michael Thank Jackson. You. See? Uh, See? Okay, not so I got no. hers. No. I got no. hers. No. I got you hers. Give me, you give me three points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a half point, though. This is, so, this is not fair. Okay. Call. Call. Yes. This is so not fair. Call. If you need me, call me. No matter where you are. No, no matter, matter how far. You don't have to worry. So, so baby, don't. Ain't no mountain high. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yes. Oh, wait, so sorry. Who sang <laughs> now, moving on. <laughs> you know, I'm so I don't understand. It's a soundtrack from a movie. Who, by who? who by who composed it? Okay, if I get it, will I get half a point? Okay, then we're we, equal. Then. Yeah, yeah, okay. we could go wait, back. Oh, wait, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Sisters, I'm, sisters uh, Act. Sisters, yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah, that's sisters. True. Like, was that six so we have half, half. Yeah, so I, I'm on one now. So she's on half. I'm on one. Wait, is it serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. my turn. Right. Yeah. So, Queen, this is so easy. Why? 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 Queen. I think queen. I'm just queen on of my heart. Oh, uh, yeah. For the queen. Pretty easy. <laughs> who signed it? Yeah, who Best signed it? Nice, nice, nice. That was cool. That was cool. Boom. I don't like Boom. this. <laughs> yes. I do not like this. Wow. Girl, you're getting it. Okay, this is a really simple one. Angel. Girl, I want to let you know that you mean angel of my life. Oh, girl. Nice. Now, what is his name? Who, though? Should we share? No. What? Yes. Mind your business. Should we share? Oh my goodness! What Paul Paul I K Dairo Paul I K <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, nice one. Your turn. Okay, so this is the last one, no? Heart. Heart. Yes. My heart will go on. Uh, by Westlife. By, no, uh, my heart <gasps> will go on. Oh, my I heart will go on is by. by uh, yes, yes. Give it to Whitney me. Whitney Houston. Thank you. Ah! I got my own full. Yeah, you have yeah. two and a half. I have two and a half. Two thing. We are sharing the card. Yeah. You have two and a half. Don't worry about it, my side. Just, <laughs> let's just, let's let's just do my one. Because she's a special <laughs> guest of honor. Let's not be wicked yeah. like that. I absolutely <laughs> enjoyed this. I <laughs> If 
you enjoyed it, you can play this with your loved ones, your friends at home, and let us know how it goes at Vibe Cafe Show. This brings us to the end of the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, definitely follow us on social media at Vibe Cafe Show. Follow me at Larry Nick. And Fab Malin. What's your social media handle? Roda Robinson. Alrighty. <laughs> Until next time, do have an amazing time. Bye. Bye. Bye.